Hey, what's going on guys, Wiseforce here, and in this video, I wanted to talk to you about the direction of fighting games and where I think they're going in the gaming world. Uh, I've got some Tag and Tag 2 gameplay in the background, so I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so in case you didn't know, in the gaming world there are a lot of fighting games, um, ranging from stuff like Street Fighter to Tekken to Darkstalkers, and these fighting games are played all around the world. They're played at tournaments. Um, like fighting games are probably the most competitive kind of games you can play, uh, seeing as it's just two players fighting each other, and they're one of my favourite, maybe my favourite, uh, video game genre. Um, but they're really great, but no one really knows what direction they're going in. I mean, let's take Street Fighter for example, Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 4 had a vanilla version, basically just called Street Fighter 4, which was great. Um, and then it had Super Street Fighter 4, which was basically the game, but with... Thing. Yeah, a couple more characters, a couple more stages, and a new ultra for everyone. And then they brought out Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition, which was basically the same, but with four new characters, and I think that was it. And now they've announced Ultra Street Fighter 4, so there's four different versions of this one game. Some people say it's great because, well, they love Street Fighter 4, and I do love Street Fighter 4, um, and they want more ports of it. Um, and others say it's just Capcom milking the game. I don't know, I'm not really sure. Um, they definitely could make a Street Fighter V, there definitely is an option to do that. Um, and for some reason they don't do it. Uh, Capcom right now are in money problems, so I don't know what they're going to do. There definitely is room for other fighting games though. Um, of Capcom, I mean, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, that's had an ultimate version, which I believe had more characters, more stages, and I think they fixed the game uh, overall, because it was broken in some uh, aspects, but I, I don't know, I found it a pretty solid game, but, you know, they did an ultimate port. Hopefully they're not doing anything else with it. Uh, I don't think they are. I think they're working on other stuff right now. I have no idea what Capcom are working on, because they're in money problems right now, so I'm not sure. And that's another thing, uh, Capcom have money problems right now, so I don't know if we're going to see any more fighting games from Capcom. Uh, they've announced Ultra Street Fighter 4, but I have, that's not really a new fighting game, that's just an improved version of Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Um, so, that's basically it uh, for most Capcom games, uh, fighting games. Um, what else is there? Tekken. Uh, Tekken is another great fighting game. Uh, it's played all over the world, played in tournaments. Um, what you're seeing here is Tekken Tag Tournament 2 which is the latest game in the series, except for Tekken Revolution, which is for PS3 and PlayStation Network, but um, I'm just playing on my 360 right now. Um, this game's great. This game is probably my favourite Tekken game, because it's basically perfect, it's not really broken. Uh, they spent a lot of time making sure that like, nothing was completely out of place. Uh, it feels really solid, all the characters are great, they all have their own you know, type of fighting style. Um, the graphics are insane. Like, they're probably some of the best graphics I've seen on a fighting game. I mean, they're just awesome. Uh, how they can improve the graphics, I don't know. They'll probably have to do it on a next-gen console, uh, like the Xbox One and PS4. Um, which they, they will make a Tekken game for those consoles. Um, and hopefully the graphics will be even better than this, which seems unbelievable, but... You know, we've all seen the graphics of the next-gen consoles, so they can pretty much do anything. Other fighting games, like Darkstalkers, which I forgot about, which is another Capcom game. Um, I, I don't know. They said, I believe there was a thing that said, like, Darkstalkers is not dead or something. A Capcom show, and I'm not a huge Darkstalkers fan, but, um, I believe they said something like that, so they might be making a Darkstalkers game, I have no idea. Um... What else is there? Daryl Live. Daryl Live 5 recently had its, I think, Daryl Live 5 Ultimate port, uh, with more characters, I think more stages, I'm not sure. Um, and yeah, so they're doing this with all fighting games, just making an improved version. Um, but I mean, the topic of the video is which direction are fighting games going in, and personally, I don't know. I mean, most fighting games are at their limit on these consoles. I mean, they've got the top not graphics, I mean, mo they're not broken, because if they were broken, they would just be torn apart by 
everyone, you know? And the developers really fixed that. I mean, let's talk a little bit about Mortal Kombat and Injustice and stuff. Um, mostly Injustice, which I do see as a, like, it, 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 it's Mortal Kombat, but it's not. Anyway, so that game came out, like, about half a year ago now. Uh, and that's getting a, I think, Ultimate Edition, um, which is all the DLC characters. Um, I don't know about costumes, maybe some costumes. Um, and it's it's for the next-gen consoles. Well, not the Xbox One, just the PS4. Uh, and I believe current gen too. So that's awesome. But Injustice is doing very well. Like, it... I mean, Mortal Kombat 9 already did amazing, but then they brought out Injustice, and everyone was like, oh, okay, a DC fighting game. And it, it completely just... It was amazing. I mean, I still play Injustice. Really good. Um, and I, I think Mortal Kombat definitely could be improved as well. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're making Mortal Kombat 10 um, for next gen or something. I mean, they have to. It's Mortal Kombat. Um, but, yeah, overall, I think the direction of fighting games is just that, well, they could be improved, but only slightly. I think fighting games have reached their max. I mean, from the days of the arcade where people were like, oh, yeah, they can definitely be improved. But then... But then again, some people were like, oh no, this is this is it, this is the max they can go. And now, you know, we're at this day and age where they're just like this. Amazing graphics, amazing gameplay, everyone can have a great time playing them. Um, some people can get angry playing them, and that's just the fun of fighting games. Um, so yeah, remember to like uh, the video, guys, if you really enjoyed this video. Um, dislike and tell me why if you didn't dislike it. Um, and subscribe if you want to see more of me. Alright, this is Visor Force. See you later.